Hello PowerPoint users and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we are going to create this beautiful infographic using PowerPoint. So without any further delay, let's get started. As usual, let's first enable the guides and then drag and place this vertical guide at 6 units towards left. Next go to insert tab, choose smart art, under cycle category, add basic cycle smart art. By default, it will add 5 shapes. So let's go to add shape option on the top and add few more shapes until we have 6 shapes in the semicircular pattern. Now ungroup this smart art 2 more times so that each shape is selectable. Since we need these 6 shapes, let's deselect them holding down shift key and then press delete key to delete all other shapes. Next drag and select all shapes and align it to vertical guide. Also increase their size by dragging holding down control and shift keys until they slightly overlap with each other. Next go to insert tab, choose shapes and then draw a small circle shape as shown. Let me zoom in a bit and align this circle at the bottom and then change its fill color to white. Next again go to insert tab, choose shapes and then draw a vertical line from the center of the design to this small circle shape. Change the outline color to light gray and then increase its weight. Also right click and send it to back. Now drag and select both line and small circle shape and then group them together. Next duplicate it using Ctrl plus D. Right click and choose format shape and then rotate it by 35 degrees. Now drag and place it to second circle shape as shown. Let's duplicate this group one more time. This time rotate it by 70 degrees and align it to third circle shape. Next duplicate these three shapes one after the other. Flip them vertically and then arrange them to next three circle shapes. Let me speed up to save time. Next go to insert tab, choose shapes and then draw a circle shape at the center of this design. Change its fill color to light gray and then remove its outline. Now duplicate this circle shape, apply gradient fill, make it a two step gradient, change the direction to bottom left and then change the stop colors to light gray and white colors. Next apply outline to this circle shape with same gradient pattern. Let me scroll down to see the options. It will be a two step gradient. Stop colors will be light gray and white colors. Important is to change the direction opposite to that of gradient fill pattern. Reduce the size by dragging it holding down control and shift keys and align it over the existing circle shape. So far so good. Next go to insert tab, choose shapes and then draw a arc shape through center of our design. Let me zoom in a bit and adjust the arc length to fit between the two lines. Let's increase its weight to 3 points and change its cap type to round. Next duplicate this arc using Ctrl plus D and then align it over the existing arc shape and then rotate it to place between next set of lines. Next duplicate this arc shape. You won't see it because it's perfectly aligned at the same position. Just rotate and place it between next set of lines. Let's continue to duplicate the arc shape and then place them between each pair of lines. Finally, 
duplicate it one more time and increase its arc length to cover remaining portion as shown. Next select all 6 circle shapes, remove their outline and apply gradient fill. Change the gradient stop colors using eyedropper tool and color palettes but make sure to maintain both stop colors with different shades. Let me speed up to save time. After all, it is repetitive step of choosing the colors and changing the shades. Change the arc colors using same set of colors. Again, let me speed up to save time. Next we will draw a small rectangle shape to add our numerical text fields. Adjust the size and remove its outline. Now select all 6 circle shapes. Go to effects menu and apply outer shadow effect. Increase the transparency and blur value until you get desired shadow effect. Select the center circle shape and apply similar shadow effect. Next select rectangle shape. Match its color with circle shape using eyedropper tool and apply outer shadow effect. Let's slightly increase the rectangle height and copy the numerical text from slide number 2 and then paste it into rectangle shape. Increase the font size and adjust the rectangle size if required. Next duplicate this rectangle shape 5 more times, match their fill color with respect to circle colors and then change the sequence of numerical text values. That looks perfect. Finally, add all remaining text fields and PNG icons to complete this design. All set. So here is the final preview. Hope you all liked it. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment on this video. Stay tuned for next tutorial.